We now return to Mega March. It's, it's Guts, Guts Man. Man. Welcome, everybody, to our continuation of Mega March as the Ramblin' Reploids are here to discuss what appears to be Guts Man. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Twitch from Reploid Revo, and of course, I am here on Coleman's show. Coleman, why don't you see yourself in? Hello, uh, Coleman X here. Thank you for coming. And um, at least half of this is Guts Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, as. <laughs> As many of you may have may have already seen, if you're familiar with Captain N and what we've been doing, um, some of these designs are really out there. And, you know, I, I have to say, for as much fun as we're having, Gutsman's design is a little underwhelming. Mm. Um, it's, it's, like, <laughs> almost close enough to be recognizable to the point where it's kind of boring, you know? Yeah, it's almost not fun to make fun of this one. Because, um, <laughs> like, if you look at him, it's... It's pretty close. It's it is Guts Man to answer the yeah. question from earlier. Uh, He's got more of a chrome dome than normal, but yeah, it's a little it's a little shinier. Um, it's Guts Man. It's Guts Man. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Guts Man. You know, he he's kind of like a uh, Nerf themed for some reason. <laughs> like you know what I mean? He's he kind of looks like Guts Man if like Nerf were to make a Guts Man toy, like. You know, he's got to be, like, orange, so he's soft, and he's got, like, the, the dark navy blue because they can't use gunmetal, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, um, yeah, and he, he's he got the shovel chin, so they, they got that correct. He yeah. even has the angry eyebrows that Gutsman has, like, that come down from over his head. Um, so they got that. Um, they got his ears correct, strangely. They got the, the chest correct. He's got, like, the big old the, the 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 chest with like a little the gem in the center uh they gave mm -hmm. him like some slight pecs so you, you know um they gave him wristbands instead of like forearms which i guess is okay because you know his forearms are his wrists basically in this cartoon yeah yeah uh and i feel like that was taken from uh one of the american one of the western box arts i don't want to say american because i know there's different box arts depending on where you go I think the wristbands came from this European, I think it's European artwork of Gutsman, where instead of the big beefy red gauntlets that they give Mega Man characters, they interpreted those as boxing gloves and then just put them over his hands. But they look like reuse gloves from like Street Fighter. Um, uh -huh. So I feel like maybe they saw that, which is why they gave him wristbands instead of like the beefy things. Because looking at Gutsman, like he's almost completely anatomically accurate to like what his Japanese artwork looks like. Yeah. Um, you know, so I mean, I, I don't know. It's it, it. This one's interesting in that it's not that far off. They just colored him wrong. <laughs> like, yeah, he's basically like I said. It's it's Nerf guts man is what it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, his legs. He's wearing like leg warmers. But yeah. you know what? It's it's cold in in uh in cuts man stage, which is where everyone is for some reason. <laughs> which is where everyone is. It's not cold in ice man stage though. It's only cuts man stage. Yeah. Well, um, re real quick. The um the box art that you're talking about that's the one that looks like um like a B movie poster. Yeah, I think so. Like, yeah, I I, ju I just I just looked it up to check, and yeah, he has those gloves. And yeah, and like Doctor Wily is in like the background having like yeah. an existential yeah. crisis. <laughs> that's the one. But man, a quick side tangent: if they you know they're doing a live action Mega Man movie, make it like a B movie. Like Yo. I think that would be the way to go. So here's... No, ju just like that poster. Like, <laughs> that... I think that would be the perfect design. I feel like this is definitely going to be a discussion for, like, another episode. Oh, but yeah. just my two cents on that is if they want to avoid complete and utter disaster, they need to not make it live action. And if it's going to be live action, um, then they need to go, like you said, the B-movie route. Like, just a crappy... Mm -hmm dumb schlocky sci-fi thing yeah, almost like fun. how ruby spears did it like which is it was a yeah. little cheesy but like kind of but still kind of wholesome um i feel like if they went that route and you know they made it you know like you know like oh mega man you're our only hope you must go <laughs> and defeat the evil dr wily and then he's like steps forward he's like i'll do it you know like yeah yeah kind of like cheesy and goofy like i feel like they could maybe get away with it i don't know it just <sighs> live action is just not the route you should go for this i mean yeah. you shouldn't even unless do live you're doing action. something 
unless yeah. you're doing something really specific with it. Yeah, and I don't know. I just, uh, I just don't yeah, see it well, ending well. That's a that's a discussion for uh, maybe coming up. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll touch on that more. I want I have more thoughts, but I'm just gonna have to write them down for now. Yep. Anyway, he's wearing leg warmers, but he you is. know what? That's fine. You know, I mean, I that's guess it, that, that's okay. I mean, if you look at his sprite too. Um, they must have, again, they gave him wristbands, but if you look at his sprite, his arms very clearly do come over his, his fists a little. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. they the, because he's the biggest boss in the whole game. So his mm -hmm. sprite work very closely resembles his artwork. Um, so I just find it a little funny that even with all of this available to them, they, <laughs> they still just kind of interpreted his wrists any which way they wanted. Yeah, I mean, good on him for getting as close as they did yeah you know aside from his his uh you know missing middle finger you know the the, you know, the, <laughs> the four finger route for some reason and not all bosses yeah. are like this um you know what yeah good on them they got pretty yeah. dang close he's um, got the and he's got a, a chrome dome instead of a helmet but yeah well, that's okay whatever close but enough the main thing with him is that his under skin like his arms and stuff are the, the same colors as his face so it looks like he's naked aside from you know the armor and the underwear oh, i didn't even think yeah. of that now you know that what you I mean? mention it it is kind of like uh, why would you say that he's got this like crap <laughs> macaroni and cheese color skin and it's like <laughs> i prefer he's hanging I'm, out and i'm stuff. just gonna yeah he does oh they did give him a gut he's guts man <laughs> guts man yeah Oh my god, I feel like someone heard his name and they didn't think of it as like like guts, like, mm, he's got a lot of guts. They thought of it like, well, let's give him a beer belly. <laughs> like, someone could not resist the pun, they had to do it. <sighs> you jerk, whoever did that. I can't, now I'm, I never, I, I saw it, but my brain didn't register, like, that's probably what's going on. And that really bothers me that it took me this are long to realize that. Are you taking back all the praise that you gave to it? Well, I'm, I on, I want to take back all the praise, but I am a I am a lover of puns, and so I mm. I kind of have to. I mean, it is funny <laughs> to give them. Yeah, the, it sits know. in that really awkward place in the middle. Yeah, it, it, it's better than um, <laughs> the the route they went in fully charged, which I think everyone universally hated. Where yeah, I wasn't Guts, a fan of that. <laughs> Gutsman literally is based around his gut instead of like strength. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, I, I know it's funny, and like maybe you can make fun of him for having like a beer belly, and you could, he could be like, oh, I have a reactor in there, that's what gives me all my strength, you know. But instead, they're like, no, he like burps and farts everywhere because he's guts man. And I'm like, yeah, all right, <laughs> you know, good on you for not going after the low hanging fruit there, guys. Yep. But uh, well, um, speaking of low hanging fruit, not really, but uh, the Ruby Spears design is just fantastic that it's was, almost all right hold on that was not a segue you can't just say, no it wasn't you can't just say speaking of low-hanging fruit and then just you don't even <laughs> oh no see season one me was all about it was all about that it was all about just speaking of <laughs> blank and then going to just something unrelated uh, that's gonna be your anyway. catchphrase from now on speaking of and then you just talk about something <laughs> completely unrelated even though you're not actually speaking of it okay that's the joke everybody oh ruby so, spears guts man ruby spears uh, he's, guts man he's beautiful he is beautiful i love ruby spears guts man um ruby spears the only guts difference man is, is the only yeah. difference is his boots yeah well he's he's a one-to-one -one recreation of of guts man except for the fact that uh his shovel jaw is blue because i guess mm -hmm. i don't know they wanted to make him seem more robotic which yeah okay um, I've, I've got a I've got a big point about that, but we'll we'll get to it. Yeah, uh, his shovel boots, um, like shovel, shovel boots. boots. Excuse me, look <laughs> what you did to me. See, you got me all <laughs> splicing these things together. His shovel jaw is blue, um, and he has shoes on instead of like red feet. Um, mm -hmm. He's got like these gray things with like a blue stripe, and that's it. That's like the only change they made. Otherwise, Gutsman is just a perfect design. He's he's beautiful. I love him. Yeah. Well, the, okay, the thing about the shovel jaw is, like, I guess it's supposed to be, like, he's got, like, five o'clock shadow. Like, that that's the implication oh, I get. Oh, that's, see, now that's a clever way of looking at it. I didn't think of it like that. Because he's, like, a tough construction worker guy. Yeah, that but makes a lot of sense. I thought that was his design forever until I played <laughs> Mega Man 8. 
And then it does the opening cutscene, and then you see Gutsman in it. I'm like, why does he look so weird? It's, yeah. You know, it's because his jaw is, like, flesh-colored. Yeah, exactly. And oh, it took it, me it was forever so to weird. notice that, too, because um, mm -hmm. I watch so much Ruby Spears that that's the design that I see in my head. And then I'm like, oh, yep. yeah, he doesn't have shoes like that. You know another thing? Gutsman's the only Robot Master with uh, feet that have a stripe going across the top. Everyone else has... It's either flat or they have like a like a like one of those like zero things going on where they have like a white thing on the on the tip. Uh huh. Yeah. It's He's always got, like got... accented with like the you know like the like the the front end of like a a pair of Converse. Yeah, it, I was they, gonna they, say he's got those you know, new kicks and he's showing them off. Everyone else is wearing Converse and then Gutsman's over here wearing <sighs> like Adidas or something. <laughs> you know. But you know, uh, Doctor Wiley just gave him to me. I like him. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. He's he's like Gutsman. I can't have you running around like that. You need to present yourself better. And he goes and he gives him a pair of Adidas. Well, geez, thanks a lot, Doctor Wiley. You know, like <laughs> I don't know. That's what Gutsman and Wiley sound like. Get off my back. <laughs> speaking of good. speaking of back, there we go. Gutsman has got a big beautiful jaw and he does. Uh, <laughs> uh no but let's talk about the elephant of the room which is actually gutsman in disguise is that gutsman and ruby spears for those for anyone who is uninitiated you probably all know him from the gutsman's ass uh scene da -da. Da -da. i mean let's be honest here come on everyone knows that scene everyone this is all more all the more reason why you should go watch ruby spears mega man I'm not really mm -hmm. going anywhere with this. This was like a very like <laughs> um, ramshackle approach to just tell people to go watch more Ruby Spears, <laughs> or better yet, go watch uh, last year's Mega March where we reviewed every episode of Ruby Spears Mega Man. Ah oh, man, that was fun. Yeah. It, well, maybe not like exactly like uh, me and Coleman, but like you know, like I, I'm in a fair bit of few of them. You know? yeah, but, you're you're in, you're in a pretty good amount. But but every episode, regardless, has been reviewed, and you should check it out. It's a good abridged way of checking out the episodes and just getting into the zaniness of Ruby Spears, and I highly recommend right, I, watching it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna call the word abridged into question because most of them were <laughs> way longer than the episode. You know what? You bring up a good point, especially <laughs> Curse of the Lion Men. Oh if that God. episode felt like it dragged on forever, wait till you see the discussion about it, where we, <laughs> where we uncover <laughs> some in incredible secrets about the writers behind the show. You'll never believe number five. Click here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that that was a treat. But so was this. I'm I'm yeah. having so much fun discussing these. Definitely. Um, I feel like Gutsman is just one of those like perfect designs. Mm -hmm. Like you can't. That's why Wiley uses him so he, much. It, it, yeah, it's true. Like he, from head to toe, Gutsman just makes sense. You see him. He's big. He's tough. You get it. You know, like, mm -hmm. that that's it. He's just great. You know, that reminds me. It's funny that uh, Gutsman managed to retain his name coming to America. I'm, like, shocked that nobody renamed him to, like, Tufts Man or something. Oh, yeah, Muscle Man. <laughs> yeah, or something crazy like that. They, they kept the uh, they kept the Gutsman moniker, which I thought was interesting. You know, uh -huh. I think oh, the God, only what, other... What if they had called him Rock Man? You know, because he throws Oh, because he throws you? rocks. Yeah, that would have been so confusing. Yo, that would have really just... My wires would have been completely crossed. My circuits would be sizzling. <laughs> uh, but another thing, uh, this is kind of segueing into our next episode. Um, mm. Like, I, we're, we'll get to it. But I always thought it was strange how in, in Captain N, he's called... He's still called Gutsman. Like, they didn't just make up a random name. Um, but... For Cutman, he goes from Cutman to Cutsman. Yeah. Oh man, that confused me so much when I was first getting like really into the series. I mm -hmm. kept forgetting which one was the right name. Yeah, Cut. And I still know people who call him Cutsman, and I don't know if they're joking or like they just heard it somewhere and like now yeah. they keep saying it. It's one of those like pieces of. This is why accurate information is important. Like there was, uh, I don't, I can't think of any offhand, but like, have you ever heard something told to you like when you were a kid, and like you just assumed that was true for your entire adult life, and yeah, then and then sure. you find out like you know last week like you were completely wrong and that was an idiotic thing to believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's you know. So when I hear Cutsman, I'm just like, are people still proliferating the idea that his name is actually Cutsman? Like you, 
This is going to Captain N, a show that is notorious for being completely inaccurate to the source material. <laughs> and everyone's like, yep, that sounds right. And they just stick with it for the next 30 years. Yep. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, I don't, there's not too much more to say about Gutsman. Um, yeah. Dude is... He looks the same in both Art, Sprite, and Captain N, miraculously. Um, yeah. Captain N, not so much, but still, like, 99% of the way there. So I'm going to say out of all the Captain N, he's probably the closest. Oh, yeah. he's he. Everyone else is wildly <sighs> different and makes absolutely no sense. I mean, Crash Man's a lacrosse player, so... <laughs> I mean, we'll like, I can't believe I've had to say that sentence out loud, but, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, so if we're going from, yeah, Gutsman's accurate to Crash Man as a lacrosse player, like... <laughs> or Quick Man is a, like, a praying mantis. He's like a, well, we decided he, a he's, he's a cricket. Oh, cricket, yeah, Crick right. Man. God, why weren't they playing cricket? On that episode, I don't. What on the cricket? Cricket. <laughs> yeah, then he could have been. He could have been Crick Man, and you know everyone would have been like, "Oh, I get it, Crick oh. Man." It still wouldn't explain why he looks like you know. Oh no, I guess it would explain it, but uh, who knows, man? Nothing. <laughs> that should be a character on Captain N. Who knows, man? Who knows, man? Who knows? I think there man? was Trash Man on one episode. I'm sure they made any old thing up they wanted. I mean, hell, we got Mega Girl, a character that they just pulled straight out of their asses. That's not Roll? It's not Roll. He's called Mega Girl. Did you not know this before this moment? Oh, no, I did. Oh, okay. I, I was going to say, yeah. oh, 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 like, oh, my God, Coleman, I'm sorry that I had to be the one to deliver the news. <laughs> oh, no, we're, we're, we're getting to her if we haven't, oh, if we haven't done her already. I've got her, I've got her written down. We are definitely getting to her. She's... Hmm. <laughs> anyway, so that's Gutsman, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming to our TED Talk. Uh, Gutsman is beautiful in all incarnations, and he's he's average at best in Captain N. So we'll just yep. we'll just leave it at that. Um, when Ca in Captain N, you're grading on, grading on a curve, so that's like a hundred percent when you compare to everything else. Yeah, that's true. If Gutsman on on a scale of of, of uh, Gutsman to, to Crickman. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Oh, goodness. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one. Leave your comments down below if you have any comments or things that we might have forgotten to discuss about our beautiful boy, Gutsman. Um, tell us if there's any Captain N villains that you are particularly fond of or that you think are particularly egregious. And uh, mm -hmm. I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, this is Twitch signing out. And this is Coleman X saying... Happy painting, and God bless. <laughs> <laughs>